Good morning. As you see, the sun is actually shining right now, but we know that there are floodwaters roaring down the Mary River. The Mary River is rising. It's just about to minor flood level now. The Lamington Bridge and the Glandall Bridge closed yesterday. The day before, the Cairo Bridge and um, Emery's Crossing Bridge uh, closed. As you can see right now, we have closed off this section of Adelaide Street between Sussex and Kent Street to erect the levee. Yesterday, we installed the gate, which prevents the river coming up through the stormwater system. And now we are installing the levee, which protects um, that part of the CBD from the river coming overland. Um, and, the, and then we have the pumping system for any further rain that we get. So this section of Adelaide Street is closed right now. And very shortly and later in the afternoon, uh, the section of Kent Street is closed. Of course, businesses that need to get in can, are, need to get in and sandbag and move their stuff. Uh, but we're, we ask you know, members of the public who are not here to help to stay away from the CBD. Because as you can see, um, we have uh, an army of my colleagues, my council colleagues here, doing a fantastic job erecting this wall. And there are many other partners, whether it's Aragon, Red Cross, uh, the Rapid Response Team, which are a fantastic group of volunteers um, here in the CBD and elsewhere, um, ensuring that we are prepared for this flood. Again, we are now erecting the flood levy through Adelaide Street between Sussex and Kent Street. Uh, the road is closed. It's been closed since yesterday when we started in installing the gate and pumping system. Uh, very shortly later this morning, we will be closing that section of Kent Street in front of City Hall to complete the levy. We're asking uh, members of the public to stay away, but if you're a business, yeah, get in and, and um, sandbag. Sandbags are available right now at Bunnings. The SES are doing an amazing job there. I was there with them yesterday. We thought Lamington Bridge was closed yesterday and Granville Bridge is also closed. I uh, just want to thank everyone out there in the community doing what they can to prepare us for this flood. We now uh, know it will be a major flood by tomorrow, Sunday morning and will likely peak when all the flood water coming down from Gympie and surrounds uh, will reach us by Monday morning. And that flood, it is looking like, will be possibly as high as the flood we had six weeks ago. So, you know, get out sandbags, be prepared, um, follow the um, instructions regarding road closures. Overwhelmingly, the fatalities in floods in Queensland are on roads. Do not drive through flooded water and be aware of what roads are closed so you don't get stranded. For example, the Bruce Highway is closed in several points. Again, um, thank you to everyone out there doing everything they can, looking after neighbors. Please uh, log on to the Plains Coast Disaster Dashboard to be aware of flight, flood predictions as well as road closures and information about sandbagging and other community resources. The river is now at a moderate level, which is eight meters. It will get to nine meters. A number of road closures will need to be taking place um, in the morning um, or late this evening, including, um, for example, Alice Street near Yalula Lagoon. Uh, Schultz Bridge will be tonight or early in the morning. The Harvey Bay Maribor Road uh, very, very soon. The peak, Bureau of Meteorology are potentially are telling us, the peak is now more likely to be 10.7 meters than the earlier one. That was the window 10.7 meters, which was the 2013 flood. So if you were here in 2013, remember that where it flooded, if it was your, then get ready because you've got, you know, 24 hours um, before it's at that level. But from about 1 a.m., we will reach the major flood level of nine meters when the Mary River will continue to flood. Obviously, we've got a major flood already.
been a lot of questions um, today about the levee system. The flood water is now above what it was six weeks ago. It is um, well above the 10 meter mark. And as you can see, the levee is holding back the water here in the CBD. Um, the lab, there are pumps as well for any water that manages under the pressure to seep underneath or as we saw last night, uh, the enormous amount of rain uh, that, can, uh, both that can just be pumped out very, very quickly with the diesel generators and the pumps. Uh, but again, we are past where we were last uh, month um, and heading towards at least 10.7 meters. Uh, that's what the Bureau of Meteorology are predicting, 10.7 meters from 6, 7 or 8 o'clock tonight and then that over the, the evening. Um, but the levee is working as intended. Uh, good evening. Well, it's 9.30 now on Monday night and it has been a, an incredible few days. There's been so many people who've worked so hard across our community. But again, we've been watching the flood level rise, looking at the Bureau of Meteorology, the predictions, and we feel uh, pretty certain that it is starting to peak right now at about 10 meters, 25 centimeters. There's still a bit of uncertainty about that. It could go up a bit more or down but we believe the peak has been reached or starting to be reached at 10 meters 25. Um, and yeah, based upon, um, you know, the, the, where it's been at a while and, and since the water left the peak at Tyro. Based upon how long it peaked at Tyro at 20 meters for a number of hours, it will be at this level through quite for a number of hours throughout the night. But again, I wanna thank everybody involved right across the community. Right now at the uh, evacuation center, we have Maribor Rotary Sunrise cooking meals for people. We have Red Cross volunteers. There's, um, Red Cross volunteers like Jerry, whose house has flooded. They knew their house was gonna flood and they still went and volunteered. SES volunteers doing all the important work, including um, someone who's injured quite badly today. Police, QFES, Ergon workers looking after our community. This has been a huge community um, effort. Uh, the council workers who constructed this levy here in the CBT, as you can see, it has worked. The water is held back there and it's dry on this side of the levy here in the CBT.